Hi, Scissorin here with another build league starter for 3.17 and this is a collab with Yazzy. So make sure you check him out. He is the minion master and this is going to be skeleton mages. A very, very popular request and I know a lot of people want to play this. It's an insanely strong build. However, we do not recommend this for solo cell phone. You basically need the jewel to be able to play the build. You're going to be playing another summoner until that's something like absolution, etc. You really do need that dead reckoning jewel. So this build is pretty decent at everything, but it is probably slightly better at bossing than it is at mapping. Uh, obviously, the more you invest into it, it will eventually be able to do uh, everything. And Yazzie is doing this as a league starter. So you will be able to see on his stream how he does and he's able to do everything with this build so really really good there and it's a build that really has a high ceiling you can invest a lot into this obviously on a low budget it'll struggle with things like the feared and stuff as he said but absolutely a really really strong one probably slightly more expensive than some of our other league starters so this is why we recommend that you be in trade league uh for it but a really fun summoner nonetheless so as normal we do our step-by-step -step skill tree with ascendancy points etc so it's easy to follow along when to ascend, when to take several skill points. We have different budgets as well. So depending on how much currency you're going to invest in the build. Leveling is pretty straightforward. You start out with something like Freezing Pulse. You have your normal things. You can use Zombies as well. And early on, you are going to be using Absolution. And here's like the sixth thing with gems in priority as well. Until you get the Dead Reckoning Jewel, you cannot play the actual build. And then there's low budget and end, end game budget here as well. It's going to be slightly more added to the POB than after we're recording this as well. But there are different budgets for the gear sets. Um, and here, this is basically going to be the end game gear for a lot of people. You'll see there's like a lot of different high ceiling items to go towards here. If you open up the notes, you can see here there are loads of information here about how to play, leveling, variations as well. And like I said, um, if you are running into problems with anything and it's not in the notes, please do make sure you check those first. But you can go to Gazzy's stream and check him out, ask him questions. He'll be able to help you with absolutely anything with the build. So DPS-wise on this build, it's, it's hard to exactly give a number because it's minions. But it should have at least 2 million damage pretty early. And uh, it looks very solid. So, Gazzy, can you show us a little bit how do we play this build? Absolutely. As you can see here in the gameplay footage in the background, it's all about keeping yourself safe. Summon your skeletons in front of you to avoid tanking enemies in vain. And they will clear the map for you very, very smoothly. And that is the generic play style of this actual build. So now we'll do a little Q&A that we do at the end of every video. Yazzie, are there too many gems to equip in this build? Yes. <laughs> There's always too many gems to equip when it comes to minion builds. What's the easiest things to drop for people that are experiencing a lot of socket pressure? Um, basically, you can drop a lot of extra things like precision for endgame. You don't really need it. More of a small damage increase. Uh, generosity should always be there. Things like Convocation, since it doesn't actually apply to Skeletons, can be neglected. But as soon as you start using the Animate Guardian, you really don't want to lose out on Convocation, keeping out of bearers and stuff like that. Right. Um, um, other than that, it's kind of fine. And what about mana issues? How does the player solve that? Uh, in the skill tree, there's a couple of uh, options to ease up on the mana pressure. And this is only a problem when you get to the higher level endgame where you're really trying to min-max your mana pool with the amount of um, mana regions you have access to. So for example, the mana mastery node that you can see in the tree has a reduced mana cost of skills, as well as picking up the righteous decree to the left of the Templar area, which increases percent mana as well as reducing mana cost of skills, which eases up on this uh, slight problem. And what about for leveling uniques? Is there anything that the player could find early that will be a huge boost? Sid Breath is always popular as long as you can manage the attributes. Sid does require you to most likely spec into a plus 30 dexterity node early on the tree. Other than that, it's the generic Wanderlust, Gold Rim, you know, you name it. Yeah. Since you're leveling with Absolution, level of extra skills on weapons is always good as well. And can you walk us through the defenses and sustain on this build a little bit? 
on the lower end budget, normally for minion builds, it's kind of limited in a soft core environment where in this build, we're focusing a lot on the block chance and having sustained through that. And later on, you'll be wanting to get a recover percent life on block shield, which will help you sustain with that block chance. Other than that, you're relying on your minions, taking care of stray projectiles and having a chunky life pool to cover you with um, a decent amount of fist damage mitigation. So what would you say are the drawbacks or downsides to this build? Playstyle. It's uh, very niche in terms of clearing. It does very well at everything, like you mentioned in the guide. But uh, the problem is that you have to cast skeletons consistently and you want to have spell echo on them for optimal damage output, which means that you're going to summon two sets of skeletons every time you cast it, which will stop the damage from your previous cast that you did. And you have to like, consistently cast these in front of you as you're clearing a map to stay as safe as possible. Uh, which promotes a kind of a dangerous playstyle where you might just rush too fast and then end up tanking enemies, which you rather want to avoid. And what are the hugest financial hurdles for this build just to get it going? Dead Reckoning uh, will be, despite being a very common unique, it will most likely due to extremely high demand be very expensive. And this shouldn't really uh, make people feel that they can't leak start with it. Is you can level with Absolution, which will carry you all the way into red tier maps if you have to, without having any changes to the skill tree. And by that time, you can literally afford the Dead Reckoning through simple Chaos Recipes, because it will go down in price within the first two or three days of a League start. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. It should be a really, really solid build, and looking forward to seeing everyone's progress with it as a League starter. And again, check out Gazzy. He streams on Twitch every day and has a great YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sub if you like it. Thanks for watching. Try to die less than I do.